So first thing we discussed obviously was your setup in terms of the distance you were from the golf ball. You got a little bit on your tippy toes, which I say Chris had a bit of an issue in terms of your mobility. You couldn't really rotate effectively. Yeah. And you were just stretching for the ball. We don't want to stand further from the golf club. Okay. We are further from the ball because the club shaft is obviously longer than a six yes. iron, but yes. you're not stretching out for the golf ball. Okay. So get yourself just nice and relaxed, arms hanging down, okay? Swing wise though, if I extend this line further as we said. Is this the first set? This is that's your first one, the before. This is your after the one that is when on the well. left. This is the one the good one. Okay, so this one on the left hand side now we'll see as you go back. A lot of lateral sway there with the head. Uh, that knee has gone out a load. And your foot now, this is gonna be the key thing. If you just watch that foot, so your foot starts rolling off the ground, you're losing yeah. a lot of stability there. Yes. So as you start coming as you start coming back to the golf ball, that foot now is it's very hard to sort of create any movement off that foot, so it starts skidding and spinning around, yes, you see, yeah? yeah. So once he's gone, you've got no chance. You're trying okay. to your hand is trying to sort of catch up with the body's not doing, okay? This one, although you felt as though you were staying inside that barrel. There's still a little bit of sway, but not yeah. much, okay? Your foot now, you can see, is staying inside there. There's not much sway on the outside of that foot. It's just starting to lift a smidgen, but not as much. And your lower half, that knee, is inside the line of your foot. Look at that, sort of bending out there, sort of yes. rolling out. And that's there. You can see the point of your knees now sticking out there, where that yeah. one now is sort of maintained Central inside that line yeah. there. So you haven't swayed quite as much. The main thing now from there, when you come through, obviously, you can rotate through more effectively. The left-hand one here, your foot slipping as you're spinning through, the right foot goes back, you lost balance and you're sort of pirouetting around there. Yeah. Out of control, of big hook. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whereas this one here now, because there's a much more stable and balanced position, you can come back, heads back on that ball. Beautiful strike there, the golf ball, hand in nice position, okay? You can just rotate through and there's your finished position now in a much more balanced position rather than spinning and falling. But yes. the only reason you're losing balance is because you're going back so far you couldn't sustain the swing. Okay. You had to try and do so much to get back to the golf ball and it just wasn't going to work consistently. Yeah. Three shots in 20 seconds, you found a good one, it went dead straight. But the first one was a lost ball, second was going to be borderline, third one straight, it's not really much good. Mm. Hitting five off a tee any time is not going to benefit your score. No. You're going to struggle to play anyway near to 16, that's for sure. Yeah. And then you start getting your four iron out because your four iron is a shorter club, so there's less energy and less speed. More it gets you down there. there, but it's just restricting your golf. Because you've got a good drive and you get the ball 200 plus yards, you want to kind of use it. Yeah. Use it in when needed, not every single hole potentially, but yeah. when it needs to be done, you can use it, okay? But I say, main focus now, balance a bit more equal in the arches and try and rotate more around yourself rather than swaying laterally and moving your feet, as I said, outside the edge of the sort of foot there. Once he starts going outside the knee and so on, that position at the top of the backside, you just look out of balance there when you're swinging in. Yes, it just looks very man, sort of it's unstable. Where if we just watch this motion here, that looks a bit smoother from there as we go through. That looks a bit more of a smoother transition, whereas this one now is a, oh, is a lot of, I mean, it's a bit quicker, I know, but it's a bit out of control. And again, the club's doing what it wants, there's no real control of that club head. Okay, it's just trying to sort of maintain yourself vertical, really, rather yeah. than fall over. So, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Happy days, good.